Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Calculation. My name is Tyrone and I'm going to have to do some video wizardry here today to show you everything there is to show you because there is a lot. Do you like trucks? I do. This is um, part of a collection. In fact, there are several parts of collections to show you that just came in or I just went and got them actually. Uh, this one, the Scania, but it is from the there it is uh, official international brewmasters collection these were produced in the late late 90s a little while ago now but they are so fancy isn't the matchbox catalog so vast that as it happens almost quarter of a century ago a bunch of stuff we produced that you're just not aware of Maybe you've got a whole bunch of these. Maybe you've got the whole set. This is the first time I've come across them. And this is so heavy, it's actually bowing the little plate. But we'll try and get that off. I'm not a fan of all this, but anyway. They actually came out in these boxes originally. Um, there goes your code. This one isn't to this. Bit of a spoiler alert. I'll show you the BP one momentarily but let's cut to the chase uh, armed with things only grown-ups should handle we don't have a grown-up in the room at the moment but uh, got away with that maybe I should have clipped that after I uh, und <laughs> undid the screw I feel the person who said, uh, get yourself a different Phillips head. Nope, still haven't done it yet. It is on the list, but you know, life's busy. So we'll just butcher this screw. Because this baby ain't going back. Actually, that's what I say on the way to um, the checkout after I've picked up too many matchbox items these suckers ain't going back I don't care <laughs> I don't care what they cost free right get all this trash away from me okay skull I presume oh of course it is a lager it says right there boy skull lager doesn't uh, inspire me to drink beer that name sounds like skull Skull, skull, skull. I'm sure we've all played that game. So these are phenomenally well built. I even brought my scales to uh, to compare. We'll set the fantastically wazed up Scania to one side. So this is the sort of thing we're used to, isn't it? Duckums from the, uh, what was that, mid 80s, late 80s? So. Uh, I'll tear this first because randomly it's showing 400 grams. Zero, so 73 grams. You just have to trust me because you can't see that. And we get the skull up there. 70 turns into 146. So quite the difference. Quite the. And we'll bring the scales back because I, I did a, a pre-video experiment on the cabs because you know the assumption that. Uh, these are plastic back doors, but everything else is metal. You know, the assumption that uh, everything was built better back then. Well, I might change your mind today. At least in part. And then you'll instantly snap back to your old ways, because that's what we do, isn't it? That is phenomenally well built. Hear that? I mean, clearly there's a price difference. It must have been, because I just paid an arm and a leg and they're 25 years old. <laughs> don't, don't let that fool you though. That could have been anything. Wow, Matchbox Ultra. Hmm. Even get the, uh, the detailing on the axles back there. That's fantastic. I better check to see what you're seeing. Oh, you're, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Although all the settings were changed on this camera, 
um, to do a bit of stop motion nonsense but uh, hopefully it remembers that's amazing I was going to say I wish you could understand the weight difference but I just clearly demonstrated it uh, freeze frame that if you wish to read all about it yeah they were brand new to me and we're just going to keep rolling um, as quickly as we can because there, there might be well let's just say there are a lot of trucks to show you that's the cab these look a bit dicey but um, I've been doing this to try and straighten one of them this morning and it's still intact a little bit rubbery thankfully chromed out rhubar bull bar push bar whatever you want to call it get, my, get out of my way bar rubber tires funked up wheels and uh, of course the matching skull livery cool hey so I'm just going to plonk him there and should we bring in all the run-of-the-mill scanners? we should just quickly big difference but uh, lovely colors anywho oh that was to the duckums wasn't it the blue see that looks great I love these things but uh, pales in comparison to the wazzed up version there are a few like that a few subtle changes the uh, fancy one is going to get lost in the crowd that might be a double don't tell the finance department um, I think oh, there are a couple of other randos as I shuffle through the piles of trucks either side of me um, probably a good time to take this out now this is the CY17 or Convoy 17 with the Scania box is a little bit mashed up so no great loss and happily the plastic is not yellowed like the box is I like this one a lot that colour scheme really works really like it so I'll pop him over the back that's already taken up a bit too much room but that's okay we'll probably uh, stop the camera a few times to tidy up as we go. Should we crack on? Sticking with the brewery outfit. Castlemaine Forex Scanner. Tractor trailer they call it, but we don't call them tractor trailers here. Won't take everything off the base. Some of them are loose in their uh, styrofoam casings. Forex is a beer in Australia. Uh, it's from Queensland and the Australian wide Queen, um, joke is um, close your ears if you're a Queensland you've probably heard the joke already why do Queenslanders call it Forex because they can't spell beer boom boom actually stayed uh, across the road I was in Brisbane the other week um, capital city of Queensland on the other side of Australia to me but um, I stayed across the road from the Forex Brewery in Milton. It's about a k and a half or about a mile away from the Brisbane CBD. Well, one train stop. Fantastic city. Loved every second of it. Must go back. Onwards and upwards. Something a little more up your street, maybe, if you're from the States or North America at least. Bud Light had a bit of controversy. A little while ago didn't they something about orientation of one sort or another pushing an agenda should just stick to doing what they do that's an absolute cracker the Mac hmm. so much detail so much weight to the trailers loving it Loving it. Who next? You. This is like Christmas. It's kind of like Christmas every day in my uh, <laughs> studio. The Shell Mac. Um, Mac CH600 to be exact. There's, there's a lot of stuff from Matchbox with Shell on it these days. And I'll, I'll do a, a 
preliminary flood the table if you like and then we'll have to clean up and carry on but um, not that you'll get splashed with anything I promise but, um, Oh, that's a beauty. It's got fingerprints all over it, has it? A uh, bit of dust, maybe. These are, of course, second-hand. Um, I didn't buy them new. They just came in. found myself in a man's attic for an hour discussing his collection. Well, um, deceased estate collection. It was his dad's, and he didn't want anything to do with them. So he was selling them off as quickly as he could. So I bought them. Whoops. Bit of a truck crash behind me. Oh, that's a beauty. So we'll go downstairs just a little to get some more real estate on this table. Um, that's the recent one. What do you think? They don't really compare price-wise, so therefore they shouldn't really compare quality-wise. But um, yeah, shell has been around for a bit, haven't they? Um, and if you're worried about the scale, and I'm worried about the camera angle, of course. But um, oops. that trailer doesn't want to stay on the cab. But anyway, that's more to scale, isn't it? I don't have a 164 car near me being trucked down. Um, but general rule of thumb: if the roof of the car is below the door handle you're doing better than okay and of course it won't be on that but um yeah look how far they've come huh so i'll plonk him over there these tankers were a favorite of mine when i was a kid they uh came out in a few liveries it was the military version of that and all sorts of things but terrific Absolutely terrific. I think it is time now to tidy up the table a bit because these things take up some room. All right, we're back. Let's crack on. What have we got here? Huge. What is this one? Is this the right uh, certificate? Maybe not. Gas tanker collection. Can I just show you? No. Yes, here we go. Another gas tanker. See what I mean about the different uh, collections. We've got breweries, we've got gas tankers, and we've got some randoms as well. So this is the um, Sitco Mac, Mac CH600. Sign of quality. Nice. Not nearly as much weight as the box truck configuration, but still very weighty. Quite nervous about these, but they do have a lot of flex. That's a stunner. Puts the, uh, the main line to shame, but that's all right. So much detail. I'm curious as to what they retailed for when they first came out. Beautiful, really nice. Plonk him there, right in the way. Next, oh, another tanker. Look. This one's a death. What does this say here? Adult collectors over 14 years, fair enough. Wouldn't want to swallow a gas tanker. BP, again, we've had a lot of uh, matchbox vehicles over the years with the BP livery. Stunning, really nice. And of course, a big beauty of a DAF truck. Where are you? Bit of a roll call here of, of different castings. Let's see now. Def, 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 def. Can't find any now. There you go. That was to the uh, the Porsche one, remember? That came out in a, uh, a gift set. Look at the difference. 
Oops. You can get away with that with the one on the right. Maybe not so much the one on the left. Serious difference. Sweet. Put the trailer back on. Nice. Who next? I won't uh, show you all the certificates, they're pretty much of a muchness. This one I think rounds out the uh, gas tanker range. This is mobile. Different cab on this one. It's the Aerodyne by the look of it. Get rid of the debris. Ooh, those uh, aerials are a bit funky. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Yeah, I'll have to work on the aerials. Ooh. And straight up mobile tanker. Really, really cool. There is a lot going on under there. Hmm. Oh, I like that. That may be my favourite. And uh, this isn't necessarily my favourite cab. Um, probably, probably the Peterbilt cab is my favourite. This wasn't one that I recently bought, but uh, it deserves to be trotted out every now and again. This is the Ready Mix. Yeah, this is probably my favourite um, cab. We can get him off because uh, Peterbilt trucks in general are, in my mind, the nicest looking. Usually with a uh, concrete mixer or cement mixer, and uh, or tow truck or dump truck. What's the other one? Oh, the tanker, the little tanker. But when these uh, exhaust stacks are bent. You can easily bend them back, but you wouldn't want to do it too often. Sweet. Little imposter snuck in over the top of everybody, but that's all right. Put him there. Gonna have multiple uh, desk type apps. There's so many things to show. You. This one won't come off the, uh, the little stand here. This has been displayed. I noticed this. I took a peek yesterday. Again, the uh, the weight of this thing has made the little plinth bend slightly. Here we have tomorrow's thrills today. A new motorcycle for the man of action, 1957 Harley Davidson Sportster. Looking very retro, but that's probably going to come off the plinth to go into the collection. Yeah, needs a bit of a, a clean up. It's easy to say, oh, why'd they, why'd they store them like that? They're all dusty. But, you know, when it's here in collection, you store it any way you darn well like. Here is another favourite cab of mine. Um, cab over engine. The COE on the um, 2023 lineup in mainline. Is it, is it the main line? I believe it is. It's also on the collectors, etc. But the COE, I was told by an avid viewer of mine, stands for uh, cab over engine, which is what this baby is. I think this is the, the uh, configuration you don't see in Europe because they don't like it. Is that a guess? A wild guess? Um, all of these trucks are fairly familiar in Australia because you're allowed pretty much anything you like. Um, and I'm sure it's the same in the States as well. So you get the cab over engine and you get the the nose. Maybe there's a term for the one with the nose, but I'll just call it the nose. That's a beauty. What else have I got to show you on that? That's roughly the original, isn't it? Or was it that one? 
so many of them that might be to a set. So the, uh, the great thing about doing these videos, or one of the great things about doing these videos, is uh, if I have a million hours to go back, and there's a bit of a seat warmer, for obvious reasons. If I have a couple of million hours to go back, um, I can see exactly where all these loose things came from. <laughs> but uh, so far I haven't found that time. So we'll just crack on and do our little guesses. Um, don't know what this company is all about. Maybe they're familiar to you. But looking lovely. Go freestanding on this one. Yeah. Just got to keep checking everything's in frame because uh, I don't often do this much crazy. Or maybe you think different. Don't know. All right, we'll shuffle some back. We won't do a tidy up just yet. Um, oh, that cab over configuration. They went to that and uh, issued about a million varieties of that. But I like these as well, as you might have guessed. Uh, on the trailer side, they come out in all sorts of things. Where's the cab to this one? Oh. Is the Polizei Buddyo to its helicopter mate. Great, off you go. You don't get too much time in the sun, do you, around here? And my favourite helicopter, well, actually, you know, maybe that's seeing as it's an air shot. You're both my favourites. Uh, this isn't the helicopter that goes with this trailer. Um, Again, I'd have to go through the videos to find out which one actually goes on this, but uh, it just looked pretty cool, so I, I bunged it on there for your viewing pleasure. Uh, and still some to get out of the, the boxes. Here's another Kenworth cab over. I love that, that colour scheme, just does something to my brain. And another Peterbilt in the NASA. It's a really good looker. Cool trailer too. Um, didn't that come out as a horse float at one stage? Maybe. Maybe I'm dreaming. I often dream about matchbox cars. And uh, there's another death. If we're death spotting, then we seem to be. I've got one more of the uh, International Brewmasters collection to show you, but before we do that, we'll have a look at some very up-to-date models. These are just uh, 2023, not mainline, this came from the fire truck uh, action pack type thing, didn't it? But we do have some mainline. Here's a, uh, speaking of shell, it's a cab over engine, my new phrase. And that was quite recent, that was from the nine pack, I think, the Western style. With those crazy windows. Um, some deaths to show you, a little bit older, an orange, and there was a Jaguar gift set, probably early 90s, remember the orange boxes, or yellow and orange boxes, that's a good one, I didn't think I was going to crowd at the table so fast, because I do need room for uh, other stuff. <laughs> The, the promised uh, International Brewmaster series one I had to show you. Um, uh, Ford. I think. You'd better check, hadn't you? Yeah, Ford Aeromax. And uh, Mac. And does this qualify as a truck cab? Not sure. That was the NASA. SC something or other. SEV. J Chariot, that's right. And that was the collector series with the rubber tires, the squeaky tires. Tesla truck. Oh, I did say uh, I was going to bring the scales out one more time. We'd better step back just a little in okay, case something explodes. But um, turn the sucker on. Again, you might not be able to see the numbers, but I'll truthfully read them out to you. 46 grams, because this one seems a bit shonky on how plastic it is. And then you get an old school, old enough for you. 
So 46 versus old school 48. See what I mean? Does that change your mind about the new stuff? It did mind, to be honest. And just for the heck of it, 44 grams of Scania weighs. And uh, who else? You. I think these are heavy. Yeah, 51. But not much in it. Not much in it. And we can go to the main line. 30 grams. Just to show them up. Um, what do you weigh? Sound like it's doctor. 41 grams and you, just while we're here, 47 grams. All right, that's enough technical data for you. And uh, did I show you this one? Not sure. Um, that's 120 scale, not 100 scale. Uh, that was early 90s for Matchbox. There's a bunch of those around. That's a nice one. Um, Stuff I like to keep in the box because the box brings back a lot of memories, although it lasted no more than three seconds on Christmas morning. That's the big old Super Kings K10 car transporter. Sometimes I laugh at myself. Oops, lucky I've got a rug on that floor. Um, Scania, I think I'll be pulling all of the cabs off their trailers today because I've acquired some more storage space. I so will do a video in the coming weeks of that storage space. I know I keep saying that, but it's a very rapidly evolving situation. He says, with intrigue in his voice. Um, we'll bring on some randos. Uh, who are you? You're a Kenworth. Nice. I think that was uh, just sold separately. Um, that's the updated version of the DAF. Also sold separately. And way back when the Merc with those odd wheels but not too out of whack and a few Lone Stars they're the norm now they haven't grown on me yet but put in a few more dozen colours and they may do that was to the NASA set and tracking station thing and uh, who are you? you're an Aerodyne I think hmm yeah, Kenworth Aerodyne. Bit of colour. A few of those around. Looking nice in orange. And the inevitable seat warmer. They can all be perfect. If I see something like this, it doesn't go anywhere until I eventually, if ever, find the perfect one. And MBX. They're doing a fine old job of the truck cab. Bunch of colours of that one. Or is that a different one again? Mm. No, they're the same. That's part of a, a set, isn't it? And not too long ago, the Ford, even though it looks very MBX-ish. And as promised, last one to show you from the set I just acquired. Red Dog. Hmm. And again, some work to be done on those aerials. Mirrors even look skewiff, but they're not. I did check it out. And of course, doors open with a bit of persuasion. There you go. Come on. Show customs, you've got nothing to hide. Nice. Really quite heavy. And we'll do a bit of a crow's nest. See some uh, pan around action. Just to see what I've got to clear up today. <laughs> Once I've uh, turned off the camera. Yeah. What a day for the matchbox. What a day for the collection. I've kind of left the stars of the show sort of roughly in the middle, but um, I'm very pleased with them. I was really quite surprised that they exist, and uh, now they're happily in the collection. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I always br uh, enjoy bringing these to you. Um, yeah, revelation. Great. Learning something new every day. Oh, here's one I didn't even show you. I'm sure you've seen it before. Firestone. I don't like it when I've stopped filming and I realise something I brought out to show you hasn't been on camera. 
I feel a little bit sad for them, but he got his three seconds in the sun. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.